the whole concept of uh, broadband as the future for least developed countries, for landlord developed countries. It's uh, important for Macedonia to be part of this in order to see if the steps that we have taken are the right ones and to see what are the other countries, what are they doing and what's the private sector doing in order to speed up the development of the broadband infrastructure. For our country who doesn't have a lot of natural resources, knowledge is very important. That's why we've been investing so heavily into the education in order to create a knowledge-based society. Having broadband gives access to more knowledge to the citizens of Macedonia. That is why, as the um, government of Macedonia has been investing so heavily in the information society starting uh, mid of 2006, where the internet in the households was less than 10%, and now first quarter of 2010, the internet was uh, close to 50%, with 40% uh, of them using broadband. We believe that uh, the internet and the whole information communication technology sector can add more value to the citizens and more add more value to the economy of Macedonia. That is why we've been so much focused on spreading the broadband. We've reached to a point where the rural area is the only area where, which is not covered with broadband. And that is why two years ago we started a project, it's called a Wi-Fi kiosk, but it's basically Wi-Fi hotspot in the rural villages, 680 to be exact, where the infrastructure was not there before. We subsidized the private sector for the next four years to put up a internet kiosk. It's a stainless steel monitor, keyboard, mouse, but also has um, an antenna that submits, transmits uh, wireless internet. And for the next four years, the citizens will use that kiosk and use the services for free. The whole idea was that to subsidize the private sector, to invest in those villages, because we have villages with a very low population and uh, the private sector will never invest the infrastructure. By doing this, we have already placed the infrastructure and the families in those villages, which are economically more powerful, they can call the private sector now and ask for a package, for a service, where before they didn't have that option. So we believe by this uh, interesting and um, very unique project, we have not heard of a project like this around the world, that uh, we are indirectly subsidizing the private sector and indirectly allowing the citizens of Macedonia in those rural areas to purchase internet and use it for the home users. We always share examples, successful stories, share where others have done mistakes in order the others not to do it. Technology is changing so fast, so rapidly, it's getting cheaper, but only time is getting more and more expensive, especially for the less, less developed countries who don't have the time to do the mistakes which were done by other countries. It is, very, it is very important that uh, we share information. And that is why we need more people to contribute to the Broadband Commission, more governments, in order to assist other countries, non-government organization and private sector, to implement projects more successful, faster. Time is money. We've all said that. And that uh, is, it's become proven every day. But, um, the Broadband Commission and the examples that we have shared so far, for example, this morning uh, we talked about uh, lowering the price of the broadband to 5% of the gross national income per capita. That is a challenge that um, many countries have. In Macedonia, in 2007, we liberalized the market, the telecom market. We have many mobile operators fixed operators, WiMAX operators, cable operators. So the competition is there and the prices have dropped some 50%, some even 70% of what they were in 2006. That's how the internet penetration has um, grown so fast. 
and the internet users. But we have reached to a saturating point where the private sector, for the exact amount of money, provides better services every month. But the price is not getting cheaper. And with that challenge, only the citizens, the middle class, can afford that, not the ones who cannot afford. So the challenge is um, to hear what other countries have done in order to stimulate the private sector to sell packages, maybe with a lower bandwidth, lower quality, in order for um, every citizen to be able to pay for broadband. And that's something that uh, I'm very interested to hear of uh, what others have done.